Welcome to another episode of Buy or Sell. Listen, I was just sitting here reminiscing, okay? I was thinking about the old days when you would get ready on a Friday night to go to the movies. Remember what that was like? You'd get dressed up, you go outside with the hose, you wash the car, get it nice and clean, shine the rims up. No matter what the rims are, it could be a Honda Civic or maybe a nice rental, a Mustang. Those days were fun. I miss those days. I was thinking about it. What would that be like now? <laughs> is our theaters done can they come back was rona season the final straw to break the camel's hump i don't know actually is it is it belly break the camel's belly because of the milk in there that makes sense i'm thinking about this i'm thinking about making a nice size investment in movies but the question lies are they going to come back are they going to bounce back there's a lot of good movies in the theater right now the fast and the furious is the tenants all these good ones but are people watching them? No, you can't, because of Rona, you'll die. So the movie theater has a lot of things against them right now. For one, Rona, the most important. Two, movies aren't being made in Hollywood. They're not being made, so if Rona does end suddenly, which it won't, it's gonna fizzle out, hopefully. If it did end suddenly, there's no movies. No movies have been produced, so nothing is going in the theater. What, are they gonna revisit some movies from the 80s and 90s? The other thing they have going for it, they're hit with streaming services. Streaming services, your Netflix, your Hulus, your Amazons, your Disneys, there's everything. People don't wanna leave the house anymore. They wanna stay in, stay put in their seat, in their love seat, their love sack, their love lounge chair. Also, now you can get Dolby Digital 5.1 spatial surround sound from this. You put this little thing in your ear and then you got iMac sound. And then all you do is you connect a little iPad, you pop it open, you watch a movie at the movie theater. It's right behind me, but I'm watching it here, crystal clear. So movies are very easy to watch now with great picture and great sound. Red flags. No one wants to go to movies because the Rona, another red flag. The only green flag they have going for it is that sometimes people want to leave their house and go to the movies. But I think that's old. I think it's done. So since we're doing a deep dive on AMC and we see that Regal's closed down nationally, is AMC the next one to close? This is the question. Because if it is, then we're going to open puts, send AMC down into Putville and make a whole lot of money. If they're not closed, if they're not closing, if there's a catalyst to send these guys through the roof, a lot of money could be made because that stock is very cheap. So let's give AMC a call. I got the GoPro. Set this up and call them on the telephone though. Thank you for calling in to Ultima 19. How can I help you? Yeah, are you guys open? Yeah. Okay, so I just wasn't sure if the theater was closed because the stocks, you know. Oh, yeah, we've been open um, for this will be our second month now. Okay, because I just went to Regal uh, to watch a movie or to get tickets and they're closed. Oh, um, yeah, no, Regal did shut down. All right, so you guys are still hanging in there. Yeah. Um, as far as you know, like you guys will be open tomorrow and, you know, in the near future? Yeah. Okay, because I'm pretty heavy in the stock and I just don't want these stores to close down. Yeah, um, AMC has told us that they, well, they'll 
be good because they have like a deal with uh, Universal that makes them money, but also that once they make it through the end of this year, they'll be like really good. Oh, sweet. Okay. All right. I'm probably going to put a little more in then. All right. I'll be buying some tickets tonight. Thank you. All right. No problem. Have a good one, ma'am. You too. Bye. Bye. So she pretty much just said that AMC is going through the roof. That's how I interpreted it in my head, but I have a stock mind. Is that security? They might be sending someone out to get me. Like, I need to lock this up. Put this somewhere secure. All right. Keep an eye out. If you see someone in the, in the window, let me know. Now, what do I think is going to happen with the movie theaters? I think that they're going to recover, but they're going to eventually die out over time. I don't think Roan is going to beat them. I think time is going to beat them. Uh, streaming services are going to beat them as well. And with time, more people are going to be doing streaming services. I think they are going to be the real killers of the movie theaters. And it's pretty much just going to be those drive-up theaters in the middle of a farm. All right, we're heading back to the office right now. We're going to do a deep dive on the actual stock and AMC's chart. After we got that sweet tip from the AMC girl, things are looking really good. We switched to the office. We're in the newsroom. So AMC currently trading at $3.04. I pulled up some seating charts on this because I wanted to see how full AMC is. I couldn't go there because it's like the closest one's like an hour. Regal Cinemas confirms plans to close all 500 of his U.S. theaters in a move that will affect 40,000 employees. Now, there's a pro and a con. The pro is for AMC. Regal's closed, so we can only go to AMC. There's a, I think there's a couple other, but these are the big boys. So when your competitor closes down, it's just you. You're getting all the business. Now, the red flag is they closed. Is AMC the next to close? After speaking with that lady on the phone... I think she gave me an insider tip, and I'm going to take that and use that to my advantage, and I'm going to push a lot of chips in. I did look at some seating charts because I was curious, is AMC filling up? No! All blue. Blue means available. All the seats are full. This is a Friday night at 9 p.m. Looking at the stock, AMC currently trading at 304. It's been downtrending for a very long time for almost two months now. Now the question is, is this the bottom of the trend, of the downtrend? And I think it is. That's why I'm picking up the phone right now to make a bunch of calls to all my clients that I manage their portfolios. I'm gonna let them know to go all in. First, I gotta give Mike a call. So stay tuned for next week to see how that goes, because that's always nutty. And we're gonna see, we're gonna push all the chips in today. Next week, we're gonna see how the stock turned out. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe if you're new. I got a phone call to make. I never like making these phone calls because they're all pricks, but I gotta do it. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Mike? Yeah, but it, listen, this is a hot Anyone tip. He's my money and blow it over into a guy named fucking Fester who claims he has a hot tip. Uh, fucking yeah. tip. Um, yeah, yeah, fuck him. Uh, but listen, it's going to make us a lot of money. That's all that matters. And I needed your profits to, to cover the difference. Hold on one second. I got to drop this off. This I, Hold on. I do not agree to this shit. Hello? Hello?